So yeah, Justin. Just so like that clarification, a lot of people use falsetto in the classical tense. In my classical training coming up as a young man, my teacher is called everything high falsetto. And some of you have that background as well. And that's another confusing thing. Also, a lot of women have been told that they don't have a falsetto. Well, then what do you call it when a woman sings in a breathy way? I call it falsetto. So in contemporary singing, we've sort of opened it up a little bit to be more specific. Because if you're studying in a traditional way, a classical way, women can't make breathy sounds. They would say that's wrong. You can't do that. But we hear breathy sounds all the time. We think they're vulnerable and beautiful. So that's where I call the female falsetto. And that's where that term, meaning that it's false chords with the air getting through, is more helpful. And then both men and women can sing in a falsetto production. Does that make sense?